what it is, the Front Left Podcast, the Front Left the Conversations, Trick or Trades in the building, we've got Josh, Josh. as well, <laughs> Josh has a TS in it, and we've got our two guests today, yeah, come guys. on, introduce I'm Zach, yourself. Manchester's finest, yes! <laughs> yeah, I'm only on. joking, <laughs> we're here for a good time. <laughs> yeah, my, my name's Lewis, Manchester's second finest. Oh <laughs> <laughs> you know what, at least give me the crown, come on, we're in that trouble one. today, like you know, one. I thought you was going to say Stoke's finest, man. Uh, you know what, yeah, like, nah, he's not Stoke by no more, he's moved to Manchester now. Yeah, it's, been, it's been nine years, you know what I mean? Yeah, but still, Stoke's my home, you know what I mean, and like, I'll, I'll always be the king of Stoke. But I'm not, a Manny, I'm not a Manny man though, we've both been here the same amount of time. Yeah, Liverpool. no, but you've got more of a connection with Liverpool, like for me, Stoke, Stoke was sick, you know what I mean? I grew up there as a kid, family and that, but like, where, for me, where I've become a man, mm-hmm. and like, where I've kind of grown up and where I feel like I've Manchester make men, you know what I'm saying? That was Manchester for me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Stoke, Stoke wasn't really a big city like that, you know what I mean? Like, opportunities wise, and just yeah, in the people yeah, yeah. that I'd surrounded me, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. I'm, the, I'm a Stoke boy, you know what I mean? But money's, mm, money's yeah. in my heart, you know what I mean? You're, you're, you're well, Manchester originally from Thailand, innit? So, okay. obviously, I borrowed a source from Thailand to the UK. <laughs> and the first city I moved into was Manchester. And you know what? Like, opportunities, life, anything that's happened in my life, what we'll be talking about soon, it's happened in Manchester. So okay. it's one of those cities that I really, really connect with. Oh one six one. Money on the map. map. <laughs> 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 See what I mean even he knows. <laughs> know the score, man, know the score. So what was your both of your like first earliest memories of coming or moving to Manchester? Uh, for me, it was a uh, uni. It was uni, innit? So, I was, um, I was just uni. It was just you two went uni together? Yeah, nah, we, we, so we met, uh, we we met, met innit? So we knew the same people. I remember the first time I ever met Josh, yeah. It's a, it's a standout memory you? for me, because it was in the, was in the gym. You? Yeah. You remember that gym above the hotel? Soho. Yeah, 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 yeah that yeah, one, yeah. yeah. And yeah. he was the biggest guy, yeah. <laughs> Man, he used to have these, these baggy ass hoodies, yeah. I'd never like seen the guy, you know what I mean? He was just a big kid. And then I seen him one time in the changing room, yeah. Man took his hoodie off, and I thought, oh my God. I was stacked out of his head. The only times I know you from, bro, just on like, raves and sessions yeah, and like yeah, yeah, yeah. going out and that. i never seen you anywhere else doing anything normal. Every time I'm at a rave or somewhere like <laughs> proper messy, I just see you in the back like. <laughs> 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 oh, yes, Josh. You know you know away. That's, people have seen me as different things. So yeah, you yeah, got yeah. him from gym, but you was also boys with Abe and, yeah, all yeah, and, yeah, and then yeah. we all became boys. And then you got people who just see me at raves. Yeah. But then, I see you in both. I see yeah, you in both yeah, set to the mix, yeah, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> we did park life that year, innit? We did do park life that year. That was a good park life to be fair. Park life's always elite. I yeah. don't care what anyone says. Are you saying you know going this year? Like, oh, shit, I haven't even got Is it ticket. still on? Yeah, yeah. yeah, September. Yeah, it's on, it's on, oh, yeah, Martin. September. Yeah. What, in the snow like, or not? Snow? Nah, you know what, yeah. My, nah, September, August, 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 September. Well, August, September. Well, August, September. Well, August, September. Nah, global warming. Global warming, you know what, you never know. I mean, think the past couple of years. They're always the maddest times, August, September. Yeah, yeah. You get heat, man. You get proper heat. September, you always get heat. I'm praying, like, next week, I think the boom's coming back. Yeah. Nah, they just released some news then um on BBC saying... Um, that heat wave, what's supposed to happen in August, is gone. Oh, like, it's gone. Yeah, they said it's going to be oh. like obviously a bit like humid, a bit oh. like cloudy or whatever, but like it's not going to. We're not going to see another you know, heat wave. You know they control the weather, no? Yeah, yeah. Nah, I seen that. I seen that in Dubai. I seen it. Did you see but it? But control it here too. What with like planes and just yeah, because. Around. I said this the other day on the pod, but like, I've always um, thought I could do shit like that. Oh, sorry. You know when um, now you can swear, you can say whatever you want, man. Yeah. Fucking, what happened when England lost? As soon as England lost, yeah, it started rain. to rain. Yeah, true. Yeah, if they won, God, it would. Nah, it's not God. It was God. The God, felt, God felt our pain. Nah, man. God was crying. <laughs> cried, cried for the Mondays. That's what it was. <laughs> but I'm not a big football fan, but right there, that Euros, yeah, that was. Yeah. Did yeah. you? Yeah. I think everyone watched it. I watched it too. Did you watch it? The, yeah, the final yeah. Euros. Honestly, you're like. When it comes to football, I used to be a big football fan, but like growing up, like my dad was like a big United fan in Thailand. Like yeah. Manchester United was like a big thing. So everyone in Thailand, every obviously like I lost my dad at a young age, but every picture or memory I've got with him, I've got yeah. United kit on. So I know for a fact he was a big yeah. United fan. And I grew it's up. It's mad. Yeah. How United is big in like other so countries. Global, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I kind of like fell out with it. And then when I got to that certain age, I just start watching football, but when it comes to like the World Cup or like the Euros, like everyone gets together, it's a good time, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And like I felt like this year should have been it. Like, we did everything, every sign, everything, it should have been it, but yeah. life in it. All the way to penalties as well. <laughs> that was the most heartbreaking thing of the Do you think what like the managers did towards obviously giving like the younger players like, you know, the free the um the penalties and that was a good idea or um, I think you, who, you're the one who had the theory, wasn't it? Or was it conspiracy? It was a setup, man. It wasn't a setup because to like, set them up. It was to if bro, they all scored, it would have been a big thing. Yeah, but then all I thought of Med was yeah, the guys had played like five minutes between them. Yeah, the whole tournament, Rashford and Sancho. You know what I mean? I mean mm. Rashford didn't even kick to didn't come on the pitch. You know what I mean? And then not to give them any minutes at all for extra time, just to bring them on for a penalty, biggest moment. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. come on, you know what I mean? 
Like yeah, knowing yeah. like the, the, the stakes, you know what I mean? Like mm. I thought, like, for me, I felt like, you know what I mean? It could have been handled a lot better. Yeah, what do yeah. you guys think? Same, um, but like, I think it was Tezzer who said it. He said like, cause all the black players were last to kick. Last, yeah, yeah, if, yeah. You know, if we won first. it, like, you know, oh, yeah, black players, do you know what I mean? As soon as, obviously, the results had happened, I was just like, oh, social media's just gonna go show how fickle though the country is, you know what I mean? Because as I say, like, still he was uh, had all that stick before the tournament, you know what I mean? And then people started to warm to him again, you know what I mean? As he was putting in the performances, and then boom, like you say, like he didn't get the, the a lot of the stick, you know what I mean? But obviously he's a black man as well, you know what I mean? So it's all encompassing, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It just shows mm-hmm. how, how stupid stupid football fans are, you know what I mean? Just, yeah, yeah, that's why I start watching country, football, man. like all yeah. the hooligans and all people like smashing things up, all that mad it's stuff. Have you like, seen? Yo. Um, is it Green Street? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I love that yeah, film. Me, like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a G film. Don't get me wrong. Like, that got nice. That, it's a nice little message in that one as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do like that movie. See, there, there was one that happened by um, Costa on Dean's case. I've seen the. I footage. even I said I want to join in. Yeah, 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 yeah. looks sick. Is this the nah, yeah. Yeah. Of the day? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man, yeah. guys, guys though, like when when it's all going off, if you're there, you, I can understand how people get caught up in it. But yeah. I don't understand like where your mindset goes to go. Yo, I'm gonna batter you because fucking we just lost. I mean, we lost or you. I see it though. Cause if you, I've seen people flip on FIFA. Just how angry we yeah. was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After England lost, yeah, like we yeah, was. But I, I was gone, in an angry I would, I mood. Gone into angry. The Not in an angry mood, I would have but gone into the street and started on an Italian. Obviously, you know say, I mean? you're in the, say you say you actually went to go to watch the match live or whatever. Yeah, you're in the, 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 yeah, yeah, the yeah, atmosphere. Mm. Everyone's roaring. Everyone's going at each other. The other teams like, yeah. And you're thinking, da this, da da that. Obviously, yeah. you're all going to start throwing stuff at each other, and that's how it all begins. Mm. And as soon as you get outside, the other teams chanting because they've won. The other teams like. Annoyed because they've lost or whatever, no, but you and boom, you clash your two together. We're grown men, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, you should be, on that Lewis. If you, you were in that situation, to, you should be, yeah. So, you know, who do you support? Tottenham. Okay, you were in Tottenham, yeah. You're playing the team, yeah. They just won, and they're all walking, and you're all, all your teams. Yeah, like, it's, it's and they're all shouting, the going, giving like, you stuff. You're gonna be like, you know what? Let's yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm saying, I get it, yeah, I get it. But then it's like, why are you deepening it so much over football? Like, say that, say if it was towards someone doing something towards my family, then fair enough, you know what I mean? Like, we'll swing, but. It's football, you know what I mean? Like, go for, go nah, to enjoy I see, it. You know I, I, mean? get, like, I get why people are swinging, though. Bro, you, you get it, though, don't you? Yeah, you know no, why? You it. just said you'd know why they I get do it. it you know what I mean? That's, that's why they do it. Just At the because same time, I just feel like, come on, you know what I mean? Of course, that's why I start watching football. It's, 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 yeah, when, it's yeah. the people that you see that are doing it. And it's when I look at those the, those people and their profiles, I'm just like, come on, mate. Come like, you know what I mean? Like, you're a 40 year old man. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you're just a beer drinking lord. You know what I mean? Like, just sort your shit out. You know what I mean? It's I just, so. I think it's just the me. environment you're in and like the situation you're in. Exactly. When you're in an atmosphere and that crowd and everyone's at it, you're just basically joining in. Oh, that, trust, but I've done it barely. It's, it's not football, but like when you're in uni yeah. and like you get into like some stupid like little scraps, you know what I mean? And it's yeah, just yeah, ego yeah, and pride yeah. and like you've had a drink, you know what I mean? Someone says something. Exactly. Push back everyone and goes forth. on your bar, they're absolutely steaming. And that is what it is, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? But like, so I guess, uh, yeah, it's one of them, innit? Nah, for real, for real. Nah, that's it's <laughs> actually that's true. It's mad. It's actually true. So, how did you used to meet? Uh, it's boys? a funny story to be fair yeah, like funny story oh uh, like, obviously i can't get too much detail because obviously i get in trouble but obviously i'll talk about the set things that didn't happen <laughs> <laughs> like basically like i never used to go out i was more of like a raver like yourself yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what i mean i, I wasn't really also much it was the club lived days yeah yeah, yeah. So I, I wasn't much a face about i, wasn't much much time. Yeah. <laughs> I was I more of a raver yeah. but obviously i started modeling um a few years ago and my mate jordan he was always like, oh, come to Club Live, come Club Live, or whatever, yeah? yeah. Or da, da, da. I'm like, nah, it's not for me. I'm, I prefer going to raves or like, yeah. you know, like festivals and stuff like that. It's more me. Yeah. And I just come once, I thought, you know what? I'll go see what the vibes is like. Yeah. I went there and I seen this kid and Timmy, his best mate. Yeah. Obviously, I was in there doing my thing, do you know what I'm saying? And we'd been they were, in there doing all things. Yeah, <laughs> they were, they were <laughs> doing for, their for thing. Like the, we'd so, been there for a year earlier, really, you know what I mean? This is so. the thing. Everyone, because we went to the same gym, so mm. the one in Deansgate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had that on locks. Yeah, fuck, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Comfy in it, you know what I mean? Like, literally. It Even was still like, to this day, I don't feel as comfy in any other gym as there. I'm at JD yeah. now, and like, I'll still sometimes just go across there yeah, for a yeah, note, because yeah. I just feel so much more in my element. And everyone from that gym, there was every week, it was live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, we'll yeah, be going live, crowd, go live, go live, go live. And you see the sec y'all that go gym to go live, so you know how to pass. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah it was well, that's the main reason why I attracted the crowd, the women, don't get me wrong. Yeah, 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 so yeah, obviously, yeah. how we met, going back to that, we got in there, I'm looking at him like, he's doing this thing, I'm doing my thing. And I'm like, and he's, him and Timmy's come over to me, yeah, like, you're like, yo, why one who are you sort of thing? He's like a bit fresh, you know what and I mean? I'm, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, doing my thing in it. There was like, oh, this is like our, our, our area sort of thing. Did you actually say that? No, no, no,
It was like at first it was a bit bitter in it, and then we just all. He's got he's got a mean look, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, he's even a fresh kid, yeah. Like he's got these eyes, yeah, and he look at you and you're thinking, what's this kid looking at? You know what I mean? And it was just one of them, like we we had, we had these like glances. And, and then, then like, days and days, you know, weeks gone on, like we kept going, we kept bumping into each other, and then boom, we was in the toilet just chatting away. You know how you do when you go to the yeah, toilet? You, just, yeah, you got yeah. the looky looky man, a bit of spray, a bit of this. <laughs> yes, bro, where are you from? Yes, lad. Da, da, da. For you know what, yeah. Is all, this kid's all right, you, you know, know what yeah, I mean? Fact, it wasn't even that actually, yeah. you missed a chunk. So the, it was that, that first night, yeah, the first night that we met, yeah. so we've had this brief like little, little, little altercation, yeah, and then <laughs> off, straight off the back of that though, we've ended up being cool. Yeah, so yeah, like, yeah. you know, we've had a little bit of chat, like realise, yo, we're on, like, the same, we're on the same thing and all that type of we're stuff. We're here so. to do the same thing. Yeah, I mean, we're, so we're after bounce, the same we're, thing. We're bouncing yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And then we, we, we ended up, that night, we ended up at Ashes. Yeah, we so it was a party. The first night we met, um, mm? no, 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 one of our boys actually oh, he okay. had a flat, he had a, like a little after party. So we've ended up back there till about it was about eight. It was the first time I'd ever met him, you know what I mean? I ended up, it was, and my boys had dipped, and it was just me and him. I ended up in this gas together till about like seven, eight, you know what I mean? The next morning, and then from that weekend on, it was just a weird little flow, you know what I mean? Like, uh, yes, every bro, week we bump yeah. into yes, bro, and you come out and then I was and like, yo, take yeah. my number, take my number next week. We're all going now. It's, I think it's might have been your birthday or Timmy's birthday, I yeah, can't remember who it was. But it was like, oh, you should come to my flat because he had an apartment in town and I lived in Ashton. So every time I came down here, yeah, it cost me 20 quid, 25 quid to get down yeah. and 25 quid to get back home. And he's like, oh, just come next week, bro. And come, just come stay at mine. I'm like, you sure? He's like, yeah, yeah. yeah well, that turned cool. into my, my mum moved in. Yeah. <laughs> so <No>. every, <laughs> every, every week, hey, bro, yeah. yeah. You know, I was like, boom, go into his, go, get having a few pre drinks, get the boys up, go there, go to live, do our thing, get the girls. Doing whatever he's doing weeks on and week on, and I was just staying there every week, and, and then it just became like a, year. a hobby. You know what I mean? Like, mm. It was literally a hobby. It felt like a job. It's the, it's the routine, it was a job, the you lifestyle. Know what I mean? It was like, yo, a like, job to go grab beds. Yeah, like, no, but you know, it was. It was it, we had that, expe that expectation <laughs> yeah. was there, honestly. Yeah. That sounds mad, yeah, but like people. Who was were, expecting this? To use them guys, yeah. Nah, yeah. Nah. Come on, the you know what? Yeah, on, it was on. like once you, you know do you something, like, you feel good about it, and like not really, you feel good about it in your head. You feel like that's. My area, I go there and that's I go we there to so pat and go. You know what I mean? mean? Like the yeah, club looked after yeah, us and that type of stuff. Free entrance, yeah, free drinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go like it was just you felt that's welcome. What it was, you know what mm, I mean? Okay. And it was only when I felt the only reason I, when I realised it was mad. Obviously, I was doing my my office job as well, and I go into the office and people are like, "You're all, you've been out three times. Like, you go out three times a week. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. walk on." And I'm like, "Yeah, it's normal. normal. Like, the use are boring. You know what I mean?" And then, but I don't you feel like I didn't realise how much I was slipping. You know what I mean? What do you mean slipping though? With my work. Okay. My okay. focus wasn't there because I was going out. I'm going out Thursday, Friday. You yeah, know what I mean. And then yeah, yeah. I'm still I'm doing sales as well. You know what I mean. You've got to yeah, be active yeah. and ready. And then I'm getting to work Monday. I'm knackered. You know what I mean. And thinking, yo, why don't I get in my, the numbers I used to do? You know what I mean. But I'm thinking, so oh, this but is nothing. You know what I mean. Do you but still do that now? No, 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 no. See, I can't do that. No, not like I feel like that's why I fell out of like party and stuff. See, like it would because it's, it's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot, it bro. Because I used to do Liverpool and come down here and do something. Yeah, and I used to do you everywhere around. I went. Yeah. yeah. Bro, I was active. You don't but realize that's what I'm it saying, though, like... in the times, <laughs> You know what I mean? Because like, mm. that's the motion you're in and everyone around you is doing the same thing. Yeah. Like you say, it's normal. We then had fun. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. When we first met, yeah, I was, I was oh, yeah. 23. You was 24. 24, yeah. Yeah, so we've known each other for like three years now. Yeah. But obviously, like, we're going out together every weekend. Duh, duh, duh. So my mum, she was moving back to Thailand. His tenant was finishing. And I was like, bro, I stay at your house every week. Like, I'm looking to get a gaff in town. It was, we just got a gaff together, yeah, sort of thing. Yeah. And like the girl who he lived with at the time, she was she was like Katrina, is it? Yeah. She Katrina, was like, yeah. she was she didn't really like, not like she didn't like us, but we was partying there all the time. We felt bad for her. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 No, she, she, she was always a legend she, with she it. You cool know what I mean? Like proper nice, but I mean, even my previous flatmates, you don't realize at the time when you're in that situation. Yeah. You know what I mean? I used to think like, just come through, say hello. And then it's only like now that I'm in. The, Imagine I've like been on the you two live together. Yeah. And you was pying every night and you're trying to get your work done or whatever. And then we didn't see that. So he had a housemate who wanted to get uni work done. He goes right. out time to time. He was cool and all that. He was like, okay, cool. You can bring people around, whatever. But imagine he was doing that Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> You'd be annoyed, yeah. innit? I'd, I'll be, I'll be pissed if he said to me, like, yeah. right, what are you doing? And I'd be like, why are you killing the fun? Yeah, yeah, yeah killing the bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, 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 I had such a weird, like, righteous mindset back then. Like, not even in a, it was my, because I'd lived in that flat for like two years. You lived in that flat for time? For, well, I lived in there yeah. for four years in total, but I mean, like, before. I had like a random person moving with me from spare room. I had a death two years, so I felt like, right, you're coming into my space, so whatever is my room been happening. Was, yeah, whatever's yeah, been happening yeah. was happening, and I didn't realise I was so But if you actually think back to the situation, period, you know what I mean? Wow, you're this like, yo, I was in the crazy. wrong. Bro, honestly, I, yeah, it's great. Yeah, I've grown, you know. You've
went home, yeah, before I moved in with Lewis, yeah, before we got a flat together, we'll talk about it in a second, but like, I was staying in his mate's room, and I will bring girls round without him even knowing, like his housemate. Yo, like, my man still don't know this. Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 so he's going to be watching this, but like, I was doing my thing in his boy's room, do you know what I'm saying? But like, he's like, yeah, you can stay in my room. I said, you sure, Lewis? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. But you just get, you know what I mean? You'd be one of them, like, I get it done, sort the sheets out the next day, and then that's our <laughs> <laughs> uh, It happens, man. We've all done but that. Because you know like, we went to uni. Yeah. The set things that we won't think of as mad, but yeah. like, say if you, you haven't been through that type, them type of situations, them type of scenarios, you think, yo, that's a bit, yo, why are you letting, why are you letting man do that type of thing for it's you? It's mad because I never used to think anything of it. So I used to think, because when I moved back to Liverpool, because mm. Connor moved into my gap, yeah, 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 yeah. So I still had the keys. So then I would still go back. <laughs> And I still smash things. <laughs> Only up until he caught me one time, you know? <laughs> and I never realised how... Because in uh-huh. my head, I was like, this is still my room. Yeah, yeah, You're yeah, just yeah. a lodger. Yeah. Like, oh, that's my yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then he caught me and his reaction was like, rah. He was pissed. He was pissed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was yeah. pissed. And then I did it again when he moved to where you are living. And then I see him as reaction. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a bad guy. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't do that shit. Yeah, yeah, when you yeah, realise, yeah. isn't he? And I was like, if someone did that to me, I'll, I'll kind of be like, it's yeah, mad, it's a it? Bad it depends story. on who it was. Like, set man, I ain't arsed. Awesome. Say, don't know you or something. Don't you? Don't you? Don't, you don't take liberties. To be fair, like, if it's one of your boys, it's cool. Like, like me and him, you, like, we mapped next to Next week, we're on the same bed. Yeah. Do you know what, you know what I'm mean? saying? Like, it, and, like, he's like looking him. at me, I'm looking at him, like, <laughs> yeah, it's <annoying. laughs> But then at the same time, like, the set man that you were, they'd be like, never. Uh, yeah. But it takes a set person, though, innit? If you're both on that wavelength, yeah. then it's calm still. But then, yeah, we moved in, literally after about a year, like, it was like, you know what, I'm moving to town. He's moving to town, so he's leaving leaving his old apartment. We ended up getting a flat together. Mm-hmm. He had a cat. And obviously, I hated cats, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm a dog person. Same. And then, and then um, you I've know. always been but a dog person. He'd always, like, because I never used to go out as much when I first moved in there, because it was lockdown, so we couldn't go out. But he had to go to his office before, obviously, like, he was working from home. And I would stay at home when I wasn't working. I'd be looking after his cat. And I'll be chilling with it every day, playing with it. <laughs> Next week, I was like, yo, I'm getting a cat. <laughs> yeah. Sick kind of week later, like, ah, now I've got a cat. And he's got a cat. And people think we're proper weird. Because obviously, like, don't get me wrong. Like, it's a bit mad, isn't it? Too like, like, lads, you know, know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong where I'm from. Like, like, proper, not saying hood kids or whatever, yeah. But like, everyone's going to come around like, Yo, I wonder, you got bad cats in your gaff, you know? What's up with you? I used to like, Joey. You know I'm like, nah, bro, no, dude, this cat's sick, bro. Yeah, <laughs> Do you know yeah, what I'm like, saying? Growing up, never understood cats. And I, I'm still a dog person to this day, yeah, yeah but like, I couldn't get a dog in the flat as it's too small it's and too we both work too many hours, you know what I mean? Yeah. To like, be able to look after it fairly. But when but you get a cat, I've got it on a whim. It's like, like, yeah, I've got, I've got a cat. They look after themselves. Don't but to be fair, I'd rather have a dog. Yeah, same, same. Yeah, and I will. And the dog's coming. You do have a bond with your cat, innit? It's so loving. Mine don't leave me alone. Like yeah, yeah, she I've licks my your, face like a I've dog. Seen your videos, man. She lies on my chest. She jumps on my shoulder. Like they sleep on my. They just sleep in. They, they don't. Yeah, I play they, fetch they man. Be 24, so. oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, his place yeah. fetch man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying like yo, like it's the best smart. Though, obviously, at the moment, like I want to take him out more, but because he's been a house cat for so long, he's scared to go out. So every time I'm picking him out, I'm picking him up and I have to take him out. My guy starts crying, starts yeah. having like starts. It's hot. You, you when you pick you him up, you feel it's hot. As soon as you walk out that door, it's hot. And I'm like, you know what? So loud. I'll yeah. take him back Never in. heard a more oh. annoying cat in all your life. It's oh. not even a meow, it's like, meow, <laughs> meow. <laughs> it proper comes from like the gut as well, you know what I mean? And mm. Mm. Proper vocal. Mad wow. I'm going to look into a house soon, so once we get a house and that, I think we're going to have a garden and maybe like we can ease them out slowly. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Because right now, like, yo, they're scared of the fresh air. Yeah. I know, you're we've got a balcony in it. And yeah, I think yeah, that's yeah. one thing that people always think is mad because they're like, oh, you're not looking after your cats. I'm like, yo, our cats aren't stupid. You know what I mean? Like I lived on the eighth floor. I used to live top floor of my old apartment block, yeah. and I didn't have a proper balcony, but I had a Juliet balcony in it. And yeah. I used to go to work, and the flats get hot. You know what I mean? So I'd leave the doors open twenty four seven, and I thought if she jumps, I'd be gutted. Don't get me wrong, you know what I mean? But like that's it's she'd been stupid if she bum in. Do you know what Jumped. I mean? She looks out there and decides to bloody jump. And I, I just got her used to it when she was a kitten, yeah. And like mm. now we've got an actual balcony. Yeah. They both just go out there and chill and like they'll, they'll jump up on the actual the railing of the balcony and everyone when everyone anyone comes around they're like oh my god Dude, you can't so the railings they, 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 they probably would die because it is pretty high yeah. but saying that though yeah bro like the other week yeah some mad oh stuff yeah this happened. Was mad. i was just chilling and normally i don't stay up this late in there I'm not you go, me i'll probably go to bed <laughs> about one two yeah and neither does he yeah and next week you know yeah i hear a pfft, and lewis runs in my room he goes yo bro i go what's up he goes bro you never guess what I said. What? He goes, tell me. I was like, someone threw some out of the balcony because some guy's been through like yo, egg, really egging our balcony. Yeah, yeah. So in my head, yeah. I'm thinking like, right. Really from, from like, from yeah, like, I don't know. I think I, know. I think I know where it is, yeah. Because <laughs> we had a little instant at the beginning when
is them, but you know, you can't How far it. are they from these eggs? Plants, there's a balcony above us. There's, there's like, loads of floors above us still. Yeah. So it could be anyone who's got a good aim or could be the one above us. So we can't, obviously, we can't just blame someone or start Which doing stuff. Do you know what I mean? Unless. Going from door to door, be like, yo, this is our block. you know. Going back to the story, boom, hit the thump. I'm thinking, what's going on? Well, the first, I'm, like, I'm laid there on the sofa and okay. like I said, because of these like these eggs things that have happened in the past, mm-hmm. it was about half one. I was just about getting back in bed and I thought, I ain't got time for this right now. So I was just, I was just going to ignore it, yeah. yeah. And then I've looked and both of my both the cats are staring outside, yeah. So I was thinking, what well, one? So I've, I've stepped up, yeah. And there was like it was like a cloud, there was just like a little a little white fluffy thing. Then I was thinking, was it a cat? Oh <laughs> yeah. So, I'm like, what the fuck's <laughs> this? so I opened the door <laughs> slightly, yeah. A kitten. Bro, bro the one cutest walk. cat ever. Where did yeah. the kitten come from? Bro, fell up, fell up from the balcony the... above. Never. Oh. So that could happen to our cats, but our cats are not that stupid. But that was just a kitten. But theirs isn't even a proper balcony yet. They've got a Juliet balcony and they've put like wooden, like, yeah. just trying to stop it, you know what I mean? And this but, little thing just wiggled its way through, yeah. But I think our cats talked to it. So they've, they've been having like a little yeah. bit of communication. And this one night, it's just thought, yo, I'm, I'm just going to I wanted to keep it, bro. I wanted to keep it. So obviously, like, he was like, nah, I'm going to sleep. I'm too tired for this, yeah, sort of thing. And this cat, yeah, obviously, because cats are prote- territorial, innit? Yeah, so yeah. I was worried about all two cats. But this cat was, was a kitten, kitten, like Bro, size of his six mic. weeks old. You I'm know saying? what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, if all cats get hold of that and whack it up, because for die. whatever reason. Yeah. And it, 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 was a, it was about a two-grand cat. It was one of them British short airs, you know what I mean? It was oh, a that was peng, a proper cat cat. Yeah. Peng, 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 yeah. And obviously, I just kept it in my room. Yeah, honestly, bro, this thing, yeah, fell asleep in my head. Yeah, it was like the cutest honestly, thing ever. It, was cute. it chose I woke up, I thought, honestly, I just, I thought, you know what, I'm just going to keep this cat. But hopefully no one knocks on. Next minute, you know, like I'm, I'm just like half asleep, like half eight in the morning, seven in the morning. Dick, dick, dick. Some girl, have you seen my cat? Yeah. I'm like, oh, uh, but in my head, I, think, I was gonna say no. I thought you know, you don't deserve that. Cat. Put, you know what <laughs> before I went to bed, when it, when it first fell, I was like, boy, bro, this thing's cute, yeah. And I was like, oh, it's worth about two grand as well. I was like, yo, I was like, we're keeping this, and we named it Sky, obviously, because it just fell. You know what I mean? So, like, like, sky. The sky. so yeah. I was like, if no, one, I was like, we're not gonna put. I didn't. I obviously I took some videos at the time, yeah. But I was like, I'm not gonna post anything on Instagram. I'm not gonna put anything in the the group chat. If someone comes and knocks on, then we'll give it back. Like, but yeah. If you know what I mean, if after a week's passed, no one's come. That's ours. I'm keeping it. it, you know what yeah. I mean? But then well, you know what annoyed me though? Oh. I was like, yeah, I've got your cat. I gave it back. And you know what, bro? It wasn't even like, oh my God, thank you. It was like, you just grabbed this one and walked off. Man. What? Do you it's know what I'm bitch. saying? So in my head, I felt like, that was I liberty. I was like, you know cats. what? Yeah, like, like, you don't deserve that cat. And you, you don't deserve me giving it you back because like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have been like, oh my God, thank you so much. Da, da, da. You should see us, yeah. Should, like, like, come to our gaffer and after party. You can't see the cats obviously go up, you know what I mean? The way I panic. I'm looking under the sofa, I'm like, where's my little baby? I just want to make sure she's calling, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or she's away and she's she's out, out of the way. I just thought, if that had been my cat, I'd fallen off a balcony, like, nah. Yeah. I'd have been, I'd have known that nice. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it wouldn't have been 10 a.m. the next day. morning. Yeah, but so have you seen this 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 woman and this yeah, cat? Yeah, yeah, I was chatting to her the other night, she goes, oh, I was, I was actually awake, you know? <laughs> I was like, she, we just didn't realise, she was like, we, couldn't, we couldn't find her in the flat. And we just didn't, do you know what I mean? We, we, we hadn't, but it, they are, cats are weird, because like, when I, when I first ever got mine, me and Timmy, have, I've brought her back here, and I've, I've took her into the flat, and then me and Timmy have gone to the shop. And then I've come back up and I'm, I've gone in my flat, yeah, and I'm like, yo, it's hid. where's the cat, yeah? And I'm thinking, but flat's a flat, you know what I mean? I was like, there's not that many places you can mm. hide. I pulled out every set of drawers, all my, the, the, I pulled everything, you know, everything you can pull out or the under beds, couldn't find it anywhere, yeah. I'm thinking, rah, I'm checking the corridor, I'm like, did it follow us out when we, when we left to go to the shop? Is it like escape somewhere, you know what I mean? Having a proper panic attack. And then there was like a tiny, the smallest like, little hole like this, yeah, by the fridge where like a, a, some cables went through. And it just goes through there and like huh. hidden under there, you know what I mean? So I can understand because obviously, like I said, with catches, you're supposed to just leave them in it if they yeah, hide because yeah, yeah, yeah. they get used to it and they come out in their own time. But mm-hmm. yo, I just thought, yeah, I still would have handled it differently. Mad. Mad. Oh, yeah. Once I get a house, and once I get, the first thing I'm doing when I get a house, I'm buying two dogs. Yeah, yeah, I've already straight. said I want like a cane, a corsa, and I want a bully. Like I've always been a dog guy. When I, when I first moved Same. to the UK, I moved here when I was like, I said 10 years old. Okay. And obviously, I couldn't speak a word of English. Mm-hmm. And obviously, like, so how did you learn English, by the way? So, we, um, well, how I learned English is pretty mad to be fair, bro. Like, obviously, I went to a school, like, this school was like, proper, speak it now. proper racist. <laughs> and like, they were like, you know, yeah. one of those schools where everyone's like, oh, I can still remember to this day, bro. I'm like, got PTSDs and traumatized, not thinking about it. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I remember these two kids in my school, you know, I, I, I didn't have time, I'd come to sit down with them, and they'd be like, oh, you can't sit with us. I'm like, why? And they're like, oh, you don't, you can't speak English. I'm like, I'm like, you're not English. So I think I'm like, right. My mum was like, when you come to the schools, like, you need to keep your head down. You need to behave yourself. God, I'm gonna send you back home to Thailand. And in my head, I said, mum, I didn't want to come to the UK in
they're jolly and like, you know, hi, are you okay? And that's all I knew. Mm. I didn't know anything else. Football game, all the kids are playing football and I'm a sick baller. Do you know what I mean? I'm not gonna gas myself. <laughs> Try to come play football. You can't play football with us. So I just then used to sit on my own, do you know what I mean? I just, I just sit there and think to myself, like, rah, like why why does no one want to be my friend? But I didn't realise in Thailand we don't have racism. We don't have that div- division where mm-hmm. like the white kids were kids, with black kids, the Asian kids. We didn't have that in Thailand. What's it like though? It's like, like there's no racism. In Thailand, I just think all like, Thai people. I that's what I'm like, saying. Like a black Even like being in Thailand, you a, know what I mean? A black person like who came there. or like a white person. We love them. Do you know what I'm saying? So like in in our country, racism doesn't exist. Yeah. So unless obviously like there is obviously like stuff going on, like people like hate each other because of different religion or whatever did it. But there's never like racism. Do you know what I'm saying? So for me to experience that, I was just like rah. So in my head, I feel like I need to learn how to speak English for these people to be my friends sort of thing. So I just like, going back to the topic, asking how I, I learned English. I just started like watching like bare YouTube videos, watching films with subtitles. Like I was staying after school, like I had a like, special teacher who would sit down and like teach me like, my ABCs, how to spell like, you know, simple words and stuff like that. But yeah, that, that's how I, I kind of learned it. And also when I first came here, I didn't get along with my brother's dad because me and my brother, we've got different dads, you see. Yeah. And uh, um, for some weird reason, Obviously, I don't want to go into too much details of certain things, but like he just didn't like me, and I was like, I'm not saying that I was a like you know the best kid in the world, but I was like such a nice kid. I didn't mean anyone no harm or whatever, but maybe because I was I wasn't his kid, mm-hmm. he just didn't like me. So I couldn't live at home because of that reason. Um, so I made a friend of, in school called Chloe, and her family. Like, I used to go around her house for, like tea every weekend, and you know what, Chloe, she was like my best mate. Do you know what I mean? In the school, like she was the only one who sat with me and would try picking on me. But like Sundays, where she weren't allowed, she was playing with her friends and stuff. I just sat on my own. But I was going around there for tea all the time. But her family are proper like, like you're all right, mate. How are you doing, pal? So like, and I can't. If you listen to me now, you'd think I'm born and bred from money because yeah, yeah, the way I speak. Yeah, yeah. So I kind of like picked my English up from there, really. And that's how like I kind of like learned English because I was going around their house for tea every weekend. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's how. I, how I learned English. <laughs> That's actually really cool. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mad, mad back yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So then, how did you get into modeling? Did you know that you wanted to be a model? Or? Nah, nah. I'm not, bro, like, if you told me, yeah, like, 10 years ago, yo, you're going to be on billboards, you're going to be on JD websites, you're going to be doing this, you're going to be doing that, I'd be like, nah, you're chatting. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. But, like, towards modeling-wise, it, it's just something I kind of fell into. I think that's the best way for anyone who's looking to do a bit of modeling. I feel mm. like, don't force it. If you want to do it, give it a go. But I feel like, if it was meant to be for you, you'd probably fall into it sort of thing. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But I was working at car centers. I was doing street stuff. I was working at bakeries. I was working as a bouncer, cake factories, you name it, pillow factories, McDonald's for two years. Yeah. But I was working at O2 car center at the time. And I, you know, ringing customers up, trying to give them upgrades, you know, the standard yeah, 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 car center yeah. jobs. <coughs> But I, w- I went to a couple of festivals, you know, I like Sankey's, you remember Sankey's? Yeah. And you know, I got a scout there a couple of times. Oh, we, we work for an agency, do you want to be a model? I was like, nah. I just thought it was a bit cringy. Weird, in, in Sankey's? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's mad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got a scout with Sankey's by this woman. I was like, nah, I'm all right, thank you. But she here's our card anyway, take it. I was like, all right, cheers. But I didn't think much of it. And then this one time, I was just working in my car centre, like a few months down the line, do you know what I mean? I, I got a message on Instagram. Um, hey, is that we've seen you on Diddler's picture? We really like your look. Would you like to do a bit of modeling? I was like, nah, I'm good, thank you. A few, few moments went by and I was speaking to a customer at the time. I remember, you, you don't use the words in a car center before? Mm. Yeah. Just done stuff similar. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I was speaking to customers all day long. And, and I was speaking to this customer and she was like, can you do your job properly? Get yourself a proper job. There, there, there. And in my head, I feel like, rah, like, I'm trying to help you again, upgrade and that. Do you know what I mean? I'm trying to give you a better deal. I'm trying to get earn a bit of commission and all people just telling you to F off, go and get a proper job. You know, da, da, da. I just thought, you know what? I'm just going to hit this agency up, see if they still want me. Mm. Oh, Jador, Manchester, by the way. Best agency in Manny. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, I just emailed them. I was like, hey, it's me, Zach. Um, are you still interested in, you know, um, meeting me sort of thing? I was like, yeah, could you send some pictures through? I'm just like sending selfies. Like, I don't know what to do, do you know what I mean? Normally, you just like take professional pictures or whatever, but I was like new to that sort of vibes. And it's nothing I wanted to be, so I thought I'll send a few selfies through, see what they say. Send it through. I was like, yeah, Zach, um, we'll, we love the pictures you sent through. Would you like to come um, Would you come into the office for a meeting? I went, okay, cool. So I booked to the office, went in there. They took a few pictures and measurements. I was like, okay, fair enough. Um, we'll get back to you in a few weeks. Walked out of the office, literally like 10 minutes later. Hi, Zach, mm-hmm. we really want you. We'll sign you one. And boom. And, and, that was quick. and I was like, yeah, that's how I got signed. And you've kind of come like that as well since. Yeah. Then. It's been nice. Mad. So what was your first ever shoot? Oh, modeling wise, my first ever shoot, you know what? Yeah, um, my first ever shoot was like, I, I, I did something like Backstreet 
shops for like some guy because he, he was bringing out a clothing brand. But at that time, I didn't Dangerous. know what was what. Yeah. So as soon as I seen like, because I wanted to get into the field and like get into like, the field for it, any jobs that was given to me or anyone who wanted to do like a shoot with me, I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was doing everything for free. I was grafting. I was paying for like my own travels just to get to the shoot. Expensive as well, isn't it? Just so I could yeah. see like, a camera in my face, mm. do you know what I'm saying? I feel like, yo, I'm doing it. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, I, I felt good. It's that back work though, now sort of thing. do you know what I mean? But yeah. like, my, that's my first ever shoot and I was like, oh yeah, this is gonna go on the website. I was like, yeah, it's buzzing, da, da, da. And then boom, a few weeks later, I walked on the website, I just see a picture of myself there, I'm thinking, yo! Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, 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 that's me, you know, but then, yo, I'll never do them type of jobs ever again. So when, but, yeah. so when you started like getting these like first couple of like um, shoots and stuff, like that, obviously you're paying for your own travel, going, so from A to B, yeah, yeah. Um, obviously the excitement, obviously being in front of the camera and things like that. Did you have like any like pressures externally from like friends and family saying like, oh, okay, cool, <laughs> Zach's doing this shoot? You know, no, no, uh, my mum. You know, I'll be fa I'll be honest with you because where we come from, yeah, in Thailand, yeah, we're always about work ethic, grafting, making money, helping a family out, and that's all I've done, and that's all I know, just helping my family out, and that's all I ever know. Do you know what I mean? Mm, so I'm going to have these shoots here and there. My, my mom, my sister, my mom, can I, mom, can I have twenty quid to to go to go here? Mom, can I have twenty quid to go there to the shoot? Are you getting paid? I'm like, nah, nah. Why are you going then? Mm. So I'm in my head. I feel like she's right. You know, why am I going? But in my head, I feel like I believed in it. I felt like Genuine. something will come from it. So mm. I, it was something in my head that like I was getting all these signs. Like I got scouted so many times. So I just keep going, just keep going. I kept going, I kept going. One like Zach, I'm not giving you no money if you're going to the shoot. You're not getting no money for it. So I'm begging my sister, Lynn, can I have 20 quid to go to Liverpool? Can I have 20 quid to go to Leeds? Just to do a few photo shoots or a few test shoots to get some pictures going. And my sister, and you know, a couple of months went by, and my mum was like, have you made any money from this modeling stuff? No. So, so why uh, why don't you go back to like McDonald's or go back to like your old car center jobs where you're just making money? So I thought, okay, fair enough, I will do so. I got a job at Carphone Warehouse, doing it part time. I thought, you know what? I'll do my Carphone Warehouse on the weekend. I'll try my modeling like through the weekdays. So I was working and I was doing part time modeling. And my mum still see me, I'm like, she'll see me randomly at shoots and stuff. She goes, are you still doing that when you're working at car for Warehouse? Why don't you go full time, get a proper money instead of spending all your money traveling and not getting nothing from it? I said, mum, like, just give it time, don't worry. And you know, my mum was like, you know what, Zach, I trust you. I've already, you, you've always made the right decisions. Chase it if you really want to chase it. So when I got my mate, he was working at another car center. He was making like thousands of pounds hitting commission. And obviously I came out of school with zero GCSEs. As you can imagine, going to school, not being able to speak English, not being able to write English. Of course, you're gonna come out with zero grades, you know what I'm saying? My mum's mm -hmm. like, my sister, they was all worried about me when I was leaving school. Like, how are you gonna get this? How are you gonna get that with zero grades? To be fair, five years from, you came here at 10? Yeah. Five years is not enough time. No, mm -hmm. it's, nah, it's not. It's scary, like, isn't it? Like, you think people, we had it since like, what? From three, when you start learning. Yeah. Yeah. So Just imagine you're going to Thailand, you're like 10 years old or whatever, you're like trying to learn Thai or read Thai. You, you, you're going to be like, it's basically gibberish, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So obviously in my head, I was just like, you know what, I always like, I didn't know what I was going to be growing up. Do you know what I'm saying? But I've always thought in my head, like when I was a kid, like obviously like we had the broken homes, you know what I'm saying? So, but in my head, I always felt like I was going to do something great or be someone great. I always knew that even as a kid, you know, when, when all the family was like arguing or like, I'm sitting there just in the middle of it or everyone's shouting at each other. I would just sit there and look at myself and like, I'm going to escape this one day. I'm going to do my own thing one day. Do you know what I'm saying? I'll go out, sit in the dark and look up to the skies and just look at the stars and feel like, I'm going to do something good one day. Do you know that's So, so I always believed in myself. So I just kept going and kept going at it, working at this course and doing this part time. And then boom. My job was like, Zach, you can't work here no more. You can't let you take days off jobs to go do your modeling stuff. I was like, oh, he said like, well, you always welcome to come back, but if you wanna go do fulfill your modeling, go fulfill it and come back when you ever want to. So shout out to that job, you know, who let me go fulfill my modeling. They said, if it doesn't work out, come back. So I said to my mom, mom, I've quit my job. My mom was like, what do you mean you've quit the job? Who's gonna help me with the rent? Mm -hmm. You know what it's like coming back yeah, from like, yeah, yeah, and like yeah. a hard working background. I said, mom, just like, believe in me. So I just kept going, I kept going, I kept going. Next one, I got a phone call, ding, ding, ding. Zach, you've got a casting for JD Sports. I'm thinking, what's a casting? She's like, oh, it's like a job interview to see if they want you. Mm -hmm. But as a kid, you know, when you're waking, waiting for the boss, wearing a JD bag, you're thinking, JD is right, right, it's a big thing, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. So I went for him for a casting, didn't think much of it. I was like, oh, where are you from? So just had a little chit chat, took a few pictures, walked out, oh, JD's booking you next week. I said, what, booking me for like what? They're like, for, to for a photo shoot? And you, am I, I going to be on a website on that? 
And I was like, yeah, I'm like, rah! <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm like, what about, and so in my head I'm thinking, I was gassing, I went there, photo four, four, shoot, did it a few weeks later, I'm looking on the JD, every week I was refreshing the page, <laughs> trying to find, boom, next one, bam, hit it, seeing myself on there, and I was like, whoa. I'm thinking, yo, this is happening, it's happening. Do you know what I mean? So I'm thinking, it's like a domino effect, and yeah. I always believed that I was gonna do something good and like something great is gonna come out of it. I believed in it, nobody else believed in it, sort of thing, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it, it paid off, and from there, it was just like, and now it just it keeps going like that, and obviously, hopefully, you know, God's on my side and it keeps going up and up. And no. Modern is not something <coughs> I want to do for the rest of my life, and it's not something I wanted to do growing up, and it's just something like, you know what, it's like you worked hard for it, you've done everything mm. in life, you deserve it, sort of thing, and mm. in my head, I'm just grateful for it for now, and hopefully it lasts a bit longer, but I want to get into that business and do other things as well, so sure. right now, I'm doing that and then putting my money into something that I want to do in life, do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Mm. He, same with him. He, he does yeah. a bit of modelling himself. Yeah, yeah, just tell him about your modelling, bro. It's mine, mine, mine's the same. Mine's a, a bit of a, a, a random journey. Like, I think mm. um, it's not, never like a job you ever think about, innit? Like yeah. growing up as a kid, it's never something that, that's spoken about. Um, I've always f- f- classed myself as a good looking kid. I've always rated myself, you know what I mean? I've always <laughs> always <laughs> I, I never. Yeah, that's that's the that, issue that, with me. Yeah, that, like, that's where all situations like, are slightly it was different, different, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, like, him I, in school, he was telling me, like, he was like, you got the prom king, he was yeah, a pretty I, boy. Bro, man, ain't allowed to go prom. Most fancied male, innit? I've always rated myself like that. I didn't. Uh, that's, like, that's why it was different for me and him. Okay. It was different. But then like modeling wasn't anything I'd ever thought about. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, I'm not the tallest yeah, yeah. of person. So, and for me, the image of a model was that Italian type of look. You know what I mean? That yeah, like slick hair, yeah, suit, yeah, yeah. like chisel face. You know what I mean? And then um, it happened randomly for me when I was in uni. Um, Jador hit me up. Um, oh, so you started since we was in uni times? Well, no, no, no. So this was the thing. So Jador hit me up back then. And I was like modeling. How's this? You know what I mean? And the, the group that I had around me back then, Timmy yeah, and just the, the guys that we had, yeah, yeah. it was so it was such an alien world. You know what I mean? So we're like, you can't do that, bro. You're mad. You know what I mean? See, that's what I'm saying. That, that's I, crazy. Yeah, you know what I mean? So I was like, yeah, yeah, bun that. You know what I mean? So didn't even entertain it. And then about a year later, um, a magazine messaged me. Um, they were doing Drapers magazine. There was like a, a brand from Manchester that was launching, and they were like, we think you've got a great look. We'd like to do the, the face of it. So I was like, yeah. I was like, a magazine. I was like, you know what? I'll go on there and cool. cool I'll do it. So I've gone down, done that photo shoot. And then I did that, and then I didn't really do anything modeling wise. That, that was while that was while I was in uni. I didn't really do anything uh, continued wise like after that. And then it was when I met him. Um, he's kind of gone. He's like, "Oh, I'm a model, bro." And then he's gone, "Oh, you should do it, bro." And I was like, "You reckon, yeah?" And I was like, "I've obviously thought about it in the past, done little bits, you know what I mean?" But like, yeah, yeah, yeah. never really been on my radar. And then I went that night, and I just applied for like three, four agencies, and they all hit me back. Um, went went in, met, got signed, and then it's just kind of progressed from there. You know what I mean? And yeah. I'm not as I don't work as much as Zach. You know what I mean? For me, like. A, like we did uni, obviously I've got my corporate job and that for me is like my career, you know what I mean? But yeah. that's like a bonus. Yeah, it's, a, it's so much fun. It's like, you know like, 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 like saying like it's full time. Exactly, you know what I mean? Like doing like same with him, like you know what I mean, getting to do ASOS last year, getting to do J D and like yeah. seeing your face on any type of sites and or even just having your mates. You said that's also when I first met him, he was like, You know what, I'm not bothered about being a full time as long as I get these clients, I get these done, yeah, that's my bucket. That was list. it actually, yeah. Mm. I kind of I'd, I'd, I'd said it yeah. it off, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I said that was a big like, achievement, bro. Yeah. Cl- my agent my agent messaged me at the beginning of the year and she was like, Who would you want to work for? And it was weird because I think in my head I was like, Where could I actually see myself like as a face on my brand, you know what I mean? And I was like, I, I chucked them out there and I thought that these are too big, you know what I mean? But I was like, well, I said J D Boohoo and ASOS mm-hmm. and I got JD, I got ASOS, and I casted for Boohoo, you know what I mean? So mm. I was in the right space, you know what I mean? So mm-hmm. it was good, you know what I mean? And like, like I say, it's sick. I think for me, the, the, only, like I say, the, the only pressures I'd say that you feel like externally is, is just, like I say, from where we've grown up and like the people that are around us, you're doing yeah. test shoots and like it's stuff that's so different. You're like pictures of him lying in a field with a sunflower, you know what I mean? Like behind his head or whatever. Yeah, you're, and then your boys are seeing stuff. that and going like, yeah. yeah. Yo, or like, it, there's some of the stuff he had to model for ASOS in back in the day. Like, like when I first met him, I was in stitches. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, One of the you, pictures that you were going around you the know, net was him in a cropped from in a cropped netted tank top yeah remember? yeah yeah don't <laughs> shut up <Yo. laughs> Yo, yeah but yeah nah, but I've, I've shot some mad stuff i'm not gonna lie but like like he was saying like going back to where we come from again yeah like we're from like he's from stoke i'm from ashton they're really similar places but in different cities yeah mm-hmm. and like everyone's like i don't know i'd rather like on drugs or doing this selling drugs or doing that and the kids we hang those you know they sold drugs you know i'm like we do we all did a little bit ourselves here and there do you know what i'm saying not too much of it but like everyone does a lot of bit of thing growing up and like when I told all my mates, was like, I was modeling, it was like, Pfft. what, are you were standing in front of a camera, like, eh, like that was a, boy so, so, thing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, obviously, like, can't, obviously can't, 
that's bare cringe of that, bro. Obviously, I'm not going to like, hey, that's what you're gonna sign there, bro. You look stupid. You look this. You look that. I said, I'm what, bro? And I yeah, kept doing yeah. it. I kept. I believed in it, bro. And I'll tell you all now, yeah, bro. Solid mindset, because that's what like, I hold myself back in my head, yeah. I couldn't let that go yeah, for a while, yeah, even yeah. with my Instagram to a certain extent. Like, there's there's step things that I won't post because I know the certain what people think more from wherever areas but, they're gonna go. Yeah. And I don't even know why I, care. I don't. I shouldn't. I don't care. To be honest, I don't care anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've been growing out of that now. Like last year, and I, like, I, I, I kept telling him. Do you know I kept telling him? He said, "Bro, do you think this picture's fresh?" Like, yeah, it's fresh. He goes, "Oh, he looks a bit." I said, "Bro, listen. In life, yeah, this is where I like. I'm. I'm like I said. I'm, I'm talking about writing my own book and stuff like. Because I feel like I, I'm a pretty motiv- motion, no, motivational that's... person. If I like life advice, I'm like the uncle of the group. That like, anyone who needs advice, they'll, they'll ring me up, hit me up. Even people older than me, I'll give everybody advice because in my head, I feel like I've been through so many situations or through being so many things that I can actually give advice to anyone, regardless that's relationship, family, money, financial problems, going to the gym, anything or confidence wise, I can give advice to anyone. But like, that's what I was telling them. Like, you know what? One thing in life you want to get far or you want to do things that is not caring what other people think. So you enjoy doing something, yeah? And mm. it's him or her, I was telling you, why are you doing that for? Why, why are you doing this? Like, yo, what? Because I enjoy it. Because yeah. I want to do mm. it. But don't you think we live in a society now where fucking too judgmental? Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Doesn't matter, bro. Like, in your head, like, okay, I'm going to do this. Okay. But if you do that, he's going to think this. But if you live that life, yeah, thinking he's going to think this or she's going to think that, bro, yo, you ain't going to be happy, bro. It's mm. true, but people, especially when you look at relationships or in life, if you love something and it's not reciprocating into money, Oh yeah, yeah, feel yeah. like you're just an instant failure straight away. Nah, yeah, yeah but that's 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 one of many people's opinion, bro. Mm. But I've always say like, there's always two sides of it. Of course, don't get me wrong. It took me a long time, bro, to get to where I am now with this mindset. Because mm. at the time, like you were saying, like I didn't want to be judged for doing this. I didn't want to be judged for doing that because of where I come from or what I was doing at the time or the people I was hanging around with. Yeah. But now, if I compare myself to those people now, five years ago, and where yeah, I was yeah, and where yeah. I am now, bro, like what you've achieved. I wrote down on my phone, yeah, like listen. By this year, by that year, da, da, da. what I'm going to achieve, what I'm going to have, what I'm going to be. And I never thought I could complete it, yeah? Mm. Like, I lived in, a, in my house where we lived that before I got my apartment. Bro, waking up every morning, man, walls dampy, walking out there, people shooting themselves with like heroin or doing drugs. And you know, when you wake up with like negative area or negative field, it brings negativity to your life. So me waking up in my dampy house or like we had no electricity or all we had in the fridge was tin of beans or tuna or whatever, yeah? And that's mm. all we could eat. And watching your mum struggle for rent and like, can't go through you, it, you, you, you gotta go through all that to think, you know what, I'm gonna do what I wanna do. I don't care what he's gonna think. If I think this is gonna work for me, go for it. Because at the end of the day, like, yo, you're doing it for yourself. Like, you it's shouldn't self, care what he thinks or yeah. he thinks. Do <laughs> 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 so what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> yeah. So like, what I'm, what I'm saying, when you're saying like, yo, people are too judgmental or like, or whatever, like, yo, you shouldn't care what people think. As well, is when, you, you, when you actually step out of that, that mindset that you've been trapped in, it was like th- this week I was saying to him, like, I've had like a proper like revelation this week. Like, did some, went home, seen my family, been up to my dad's like gravesite and spoke some stuff into existence. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. I'd been trapped in my own edge, yeah, for, a, for I don't even know how long about like set things. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And like the moment that I actioned what I needed to action rather than just sleeping on it, you know what I mean? And like, oh, I'll get it done, I'll do it this day, I'll do it that day. And you know what I mean? That's turned into a, a year, year plus. That's you know it. what I mean? Mm-hmm. I've actioned it, it was nothing. And when nice you actually calm, do it, you know what I mean? You like do it's it. Just, it's stepping out of them. Um, like, like you say, it's just it's not caring in it. You know what I mean? And just doing doing what you need to do. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. I think yeah. I think people are too. I mean, even even myself, just listening to the conversation there. Like, I'm so used to being in my comfort zone. Do you yeah, know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. Just mm-hmm. making that step to step out. In life, man, zone. you gotta take a risk, bro, to get nah, where you nah, need to get to. Do you know what I'm saying? Literally, like, I only only recently started to see that in the the past. So I'd say like a year because of COVID. Yeah, the beginning yeah. of COVID last year, I quit my job in it. Yeah. So then I was like, oh, I'm gonna just do something for myself and stuff. And then you start thinking, rah. It's scary, isn't it? It's scary. Then you start thinking, shit, where are you getting peace from? Mm-hmm. Because you know how it is. People look at you in a set way. Yeah. I feel yeah, like yeah. people look at me in a set way. I used to see people all the time like, yo, Josh, aren't you doing this? I think today? you've got it set in it. Yeah. No, I get this all the time. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, yo, don't bro, deep bro, everything you see on that do you Instagram. Get what I'm saying? Yo, like, you're not posting your failures. Yeah, yeah. You're not posting things yeah. that is going wrong. You're yeah, only posting it. having a good time here, balling out with bro. the boys on a birthday. Bro, we all chipped in for that table, bro. Yeah, That's yeah, not yeah, like yeah, everyone's popping yeah, bottles and that. Like, yo, man, I worked hard for that. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing. So, like, you start looking at it now and you're like, rah, everyone's like, yo, Josh, I saw you do this, Josh, Josh, Josh. I'm thinking, rah, it's starting to get to my head now. Yeah, yeah, yeah Like, yeah. rah, I'm not fulfilling what I think I need to what be What people for. expect. That's and then what yeah. people expect as well. Yeah, because same as me. That's, that's do you get what I'm saying? Out, so then I was like, rah, then 
getting in a relationship with someone, you, you're doing a lot more than that girl. Yeah. But then that girl is seeing like, rah, next man are doing bits, bits but you don't yeah. know the ins and outs. You don't know the ins and outs. Like Yo, I've made I sure everything that you've got is nice. Yeah. So are you coming to tell me next man are bits, but? Everything that you do, you don't pay. Nah, so yeah. why go on for yourself? Yeah, 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 100%. So then it starts you, the there's a conflict of interest in your yeah, head. Facts, like, bro. if you get out saying you're not doing bits, but she's not laying a finger, yeah, then nah. you think you're not doing bits. See, I'm then, not. Then, boy. Do you know what it is? Like, I'm, I'm so, with all that type of stuff, I'm just, I mean, I, I mean, I, you always provide, you know what I mean? But there's, 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 a, le there's a level and there's, there's a level. There's levels, you know what I mean? Yeah, there's yeah, levels yeah. Like, to it. There is. Social media, yeah. Everyone likes having an opinion, yeah. And people like to take it too far. And it's easier to, like, put something out there where it's like, yo, like the man, the guy should pay. I seen like some rapper yeah the other day. I can't even remember who it was like yeah. Shade Room shared it yeah, and he was like, "Yo, if your bird pays for anything, something or other, then you're a bum or something like that." And I was Fuck like, that, man. "And I was like, yo, you can say that yeah, because you're a multi multi millionaire now. Yeah. But yo, back, back then when you were in the slums and like, you yeah, know what I mean, you and your mum didn't have a penny. Like, what, even what if I was a multi millionaire, like literally, like I'm, I'm so me and my ex missus have beef mm. over this. I was like, I'm happy to pay for ninety percent of the thing. But for you to not even buy me a drink in next place. Or even offer. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's the offering. Yeah, I've always been grown up. To, like my mum says, like, if you go somewhere at someone's house, say please and thank you, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, man has yeah, cost yeah, nothing. Yeah. Man has cost nothing, nothing, nothing. But, but people don't offer. Nah, that's, that's what get you fine. But then man. when that with the man, them, they'll be like, I'll buy everything for you, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but then you're in a relationship with someone, you can't go half. What are you doing? Yeah, it's my. I'm not a mug, you know what I mean? That thing for me, like, I'm I'm very set on like my principles and like pride, and I wouldn't settle. But then, I think you have to go through shit though to realise that because my, my relationship, I was in a relationship like three years <laughs> um, prior and like, <laughs> yo, like, I do, I, y she'd try and go pay for something, you know what I mean? And, Contactless and all that I just started back then, you know what I mean? I'd pull yeah, my card yeah, out, yeah. Boof, you know what I mean? And I'd whack it's pride, it isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'll like, be an alpha. I wouldn't yeah. even let I wouldn't even consider it back then, you know what I mean? And that that was me like for me and pushing the world towards that mantra, yeah, you know what I mean? And, yeah, and yeah. now we I'm all sitting, do it. We all do it. Going, nah, yeah. loud up. We all do it because you know what I mean? End of the day, yeah, we're trying to portray something or show something like, yo, we are like say you're dating someone you really fancy oh, fucks. and you're trying to impress her. Even like, if it bro, was your last regardless. 18 quid, you're paying bro, you do it. Yeah, yeah, so say you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I'll tell you. I remember, yeah, like, I used to beg my mum for money as a kid all the time. Just talking, like, not as a kid, I was like 17, 18. I worked in McDonald's at the time, but yeah. I, was, I was getting paid like 150 quid a week, doing overtime, do you know what I'm saying? And I was taking this girl out, yeah, I had no dough. Mum, can I have 20 quid? Zach, da 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 I have 20, please, mum. She's like, bam, she gave me the 20 quid, yeah. Going to the cinemas, yeah. And this girl, come, I come from a poor family. I never, and, she, and I couldn't get her to come pick me up from my house or whatever, da 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 yeah. I had to tell her to go meet me at the location because I couldn't let her see yeah, my yeah, house. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, back then. Yeah. I used to go around my friend's house. They all had a posh house. They had like, you know, Sunday dinners. Oh. Everything was nice. Bro, my house was dirty. Like, not dirty, but like, had doors smashed in. No, it was or, like, innit? It was just, it just wasn't as, you know what I'm saying? You got, you got the rich yeah, kids, yeah, you got yeah. the poor kids. We were like, the poor kids, innit? Yeah, nah, so trust. no one ever came my house as a kid. So like, I got this 20 quid off my mum and this girl I'm going meeting. She's pulling up and like getting dropped off in like this Range Rover by family, and you know they've got a pee, you know what I'm yeah, saying? But yeah, yeah. in my head, I thought she could pay for this, but I thought, you know what? I, 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 you know, I, yeah, being a man, man. Mm. you could pay for it. We're going to cinemas, yeah? My, I'm sweating, I'm like, <laughs> just, I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, yo, Is it gonna go I've, I've, I've got 20 quid, no, I've got 20 quid here in my card, yeah. my mum was like, trying to me 20 quid, yeah? I'm thinking, I, I'll get this, babe, don't worry, I'll pay for it. So I gnashed them, you know, the cinemas, like, like six quid a ticket, so that's 12 quid, yeah? I said, get Wednesday. some snacks or whatever, do you know what I'm saying? So we're there, so she's like, oh, they're in everything. Da, da, da. I went, hey, if you want the snacks, so it's, I'll, I'll get it. Like, Are you sure? I was like, yeah, this, don't worry, I've got this. this. She's like, oh, I'll get some popcorn. I'm like, yeah, but I'm gonna have a two pound. I've got four pounds. The maths was incredible. I'm, like, I'm, I'm not good at maths, though, but when it came to that situation, I'm like, I've got two. Okay. Everything she was buying, I'm like, okay, 12 quid left, doof, doof, eight quid doof, left. Doof. And then she was like, okay, I get a Tango Ice Blast. And yeah. yo, them, they cost a bomb, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yo, I'm like, Lengo. Tango Ice Blast was like 19 quid. Oh, how much you make this? Boom. Every total case at like nineteen pound twenty five p. I'm like, boom, pay for it. Gone through. I have seventy five p left in my bank account. I'm like, yo, wow. it's gone through. The date went all good and all that. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like mm, back then, crazy. although you knew she had money, yeah. But being the alpha male, pressure, being as a male, you don't want to be that guy. Oh, you came to the date. See, you had no money to pay for me. See, the yeah. thing is, I'll, I'd always see. The thing is, it's like I'd always pay, but because you didn't offer. There's my beef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, you can like, do it. Yeah, 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 I'm like, yeah, yeah. so like, even to be like, right, I'll get you breakfast the ne next day. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, when it comes to money, like, it's mad because now that I'm older, mm. I know the value for peace. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, 100%. So like, so when you're young. Yeah, when I was young. And this is what I was trying to tell. Like, 
uni days, I had more money than I had money now. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then... Weird, isn't it? It's weird. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I, say, I always had, I had money for everything back then. I didn't, I didn't miss a night. I didn't miss a night. Because out. back then, food. everything was cheaper as well. And you went, Bro. You didn't, you really just, like, back then, yeah, you'd go to places that you could afford. But now you're trying to go to places. I don't places. know. Like, well, the, we were I don't even know. Um, at uni, the money would just travel yeah, long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, I don't even think travel long. I literally had more money in I swear, uni bro. than I had. You see the loan plus my so grandma was giving me like a fucking full time salary. Yeah, yeah. So I thought I was balling. Yeah. Like I was living I was, nice. Bro, I was the same. I was yeah. the same. I had the full suit. Yeah. Mine was the opposite. I had the full, the full so, I never knew this, so I don't know what like got an overdraft as well, you know what I mean? Oh, I, like, no, I didn't get no I grades. Mine like, <laughs> 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 came out of school with zero GCSEs. You know I mean? <laughs> just, I hate, and then now you get older, I'm like, yeah, I want to start doing things, but like, you, you're still on this partying, partying tip all the time. But then, when you're with your friends, you can pay for yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But then you're telling me when me and you together, you can't even buy me something. The thing is, you know what, oh, with, with birds or in them situations, I think for me, it depends what I'm going into that situation for, because if I know I'm going in and to I, I'm not, yeah, I'm not looking for a, I haven't been looking for a relationship since my last girl, because I know where I want to get to in my life first and Before. what I want to achieve. I don't mm-hmm. want to, I don't, because we, we kind of hold each other back, you know what I mean? Like she wanted to move to another country, then she bought a house in Cheshire. She wanted me to move in. I'm like, yo, I'm based in Manchester, you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. none of this is practical, you know what I mean? Ain't gonna work. And at the time, I'm considering like, yo, I'll quit my job, you know what I mean? Right, I'll move back these ways, I'll do that. And I thought, yo, like. My path would have been different if I'd have conformed in that in that moment. You know what I mean? I'm just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So for yeah. me now, like, say if I, if I link a girl or whatever, I don't mind paying. Like, it was, it, I'll claw. But that's we, the difference I, we'll between be a one-time link. Day. Because if it's a one-time link or a couple, then I wouldn't mind playing. Yeah, yeah. But then yeah, if yeah. it's someone that you're with and you're like, right, me and you, and then you start talking about like our lives together. Yeah, no. Nah, then that. you're telling me I'm Zach. Like, don't let a number on what you get on a salary think like it's big peas because at the end of the day. What you get monthly, still, bro. Yo, it's a myth, innit? Yeah, myth, yeah, yeah. When I, when I worked rent, in recruitment, this, yeah. that, rent, gone, bro. Gone. <laughs> bro, before even like that, the month, I say I've got money in my bank account. Yeah, by the end of the month, bro, like that's gone out. Card money's gone out. This has gone out. That's bro, gone out. I'm like, the moment you I'm working paid, just to live, innit? Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. The moment you get paid, at least 600, 700 quid oh, just on rent and bills, you know what I mean? And then I'm like, yo, right, okay, so what's coming in now? You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. Hey, every 10 grand on your salary is only 500 pounds extra a month. Yeah, so bro. then you're telling me like and then we got the extra off. shit like student loan yeah comes off when i see that one come off now i'm thinking bro I- i'm getting charged for partying i yeah. swear to god like i ain't my, my degree's worthless now you know what i mean yeah. like yo that's why i never went uni oh, bro. i'm not saying education is worthless don't get me wrong yeah like education is really important in life yeah definitely well to be fair i didn't go uni because i had zero gcse's <laughs> <laughs> how many how many did you get i got zero. Oh, zero. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, zero gcse's yo bro it's peak bro yeah the worst but you know what at school it was like like I said, growing up, yeah, school was hard because everyone's racist. They, 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 but like, my mum always told me to keep your head down, keep your head down. I kept my head down for so long. I was getting bullied left, right, centre. So it got to like year nine, year 10. And I just started seeing, you know what? All the kids who were bullying people, they were popular kids. Everyone wanted to be friends with the bullies. Everyone wanted to be friends with like all the hard kids, all the kids who were like yeah, bullying yeah, people. Yeah. But the people who was getting bullied, no one wanted to be friends with them. Yeah. So in my head, I felt like, yo, I got to start doing a bit of bullying. <laughs> <laughs> you know what them ones? <laughs> so, 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 <laughs> 60 on them. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> bro, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Nah, so, that's, that's thought, you know what? Yeah. You can only take so much in it. I again, just kept, you, so so kids used to always kick the ball in my head, everyone just used to laugh. And I just nah, sit there thinking, just a limit, you know? I just think like, my mum used to say, if you fight, you're gonna get sent back to Tala. You know what, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get sent back to Tala. I don't care no more. So there's one kid who's just kept picking on me. I ain't gonna say no name, yeah, but like there's one kid who's just always picking on me, yeah. Yeah, last year 11, I thought, you know what, I'm leaving school now. I've got zero GCSEs, I don't give a, I don't care no more. It's what it is. It threw this ball at my head. I just turned around, like, oh, when I walked to it, I smacked him, yeah. I don't know, man, I smacked someone so hard, bro. The guy's rolling down the hill, I'm smacking him, I'm smacking him, <laughs> battering him. Next thing you know, the teachers came, cuts us off, there, there, there. I thought, no one in school, everyone was just stood there like, where's this come from? Because I was like, I was that quiet kid, do you know what quiet, I mean? Quiet, but then yeah. I came in the next Man, day. He wasn't as big as he is bro. now. He's a big kid now, you know what I mean? But like back I then came back well. in the next day. Everyone's like, yes, Zach, yes, Zach, <laughs> yes, Zach. I'm like, yo, everyone wants to be my friend. <laughs> I'm like, yo, who else am I banging? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But Who's that next? was it in school. Everyone yeah. wants to be your friend because you was hard. Everyone wants to be a friend because you was good looking. Yeah, yeah, school yeah, yeah. dynamics are a bit mad Man. to be fair because, fuck it, I kind of, so like, it's mad because you look at people and you're like, right, where are they now? Do you oh, remember all the cool kids? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember all the cool kids in school you used to look up to? Like, oh, like, yeah, when you're, you're all the bullies or the big kids in school, it's like, yeah, oh, I want to be like you and I'm older, there, there. But now, yeah, they're all like on benefits or they're I all in jail. Oh, they're all the Mr. Prom King, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you never really bully people,
I vibed quite on quite both cute, sides like, yeah. too. I, yeah, I could yeah, vibe with the geeks because I was I was quite intellectual, you know what I mean, growing yeah. up and then I was also into my sports and athletics, you know what yeah. I mean? And, like it worked for me, you know what I mean? It all worked back then. I <laughs> think vibes on both sides is the best way to yeah, do yeah, it. Trust yeah. me. Yeah, because you got some pe- some people. I see them. I haven't seen people in my year for a while, but when you see them, like, you're like, rah. It's mad, isn't it? Life hit you differently. Do you know what I would say? Yeah. Well, the maddest one is the nerdy girls as well back then. The girls oh, they are pancakes. Were, yeah, the ones who were playing back yeah. then. Yo, they're butters now. They've they they been knocked up. You know what I mean? Early and like, they ruined don't, themselves. Don't you, Jeremy Kyle style. Yeah. Don't you think it's, because some of the things that we're paying, especially some of the things in your year, some of them I still see time to time. I think some of them are paying still. Mm. But then there's some, he you fell off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah bro, most of them off fell off, bro. Fell off hard. I think it is. They get gassed up too young and then next but thing... Then poof. a lot of men fell off too. Yeah, yeah. true. Yeah. I see a lot of men and they look old. Like, I was speaking to some... haggard, innit? Yeah. Speaking to some bit. Like, don't even guess what our boys' ages, I wouldn't say. See, because we look hard, right? We look they were like, I, I was like, I'm 28. Yeah. And she was like, rah. I was like, yeah. Do you look, you look like, good you for your age? Yeah, yeah, you don't look 28. I was like... Because the boys I chill with, and they look man. bare young, yeah, innit? Trust. So, like, but then there's boys that I look at, like, who are in my year, like, right, you look 28. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Or like, even yeah, older, bro. Yeah. Like, like, all of them, like, like the stress through, through life or yeah, whatever. Yeah, they're, 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 but but like, 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 yo, we've, we've, especially, <laughs> sorry, he's spoke about his life. I've been through my own stresses as well. But yeah, I just think, like, yo, like, what have you actually, been, like, I've been through some shit, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, been through some shit. Like, what have you actually been through, yeah, where you've gone, Oof. Yeah, yeah, you, know what you, mean? Had like, you had all the girls in school. You had a rich family, and like now, now you're saying we all come from broken homes. Yeah, but now, now we're doing well. Now mm. they're in broken homes. So you know what you just said. It's like where karma. your family, where you come from. Mm. A lot of people don't know. So your fa- you're not even born here. So your kids would be first gen then, innit? Yeah. Okay, so in like, Thailand. Yeah. So like our parents came here. So we still got like cultural. Yeah, yeah. But your parents were born here. My mum, yeah, my mum was born. My grandparents were born. In the yeah, yeah. Still, still brought the culture over. Still and brought the culture over. Culture. So you know how you did everything for your mum and stuff. I'm looking to do the same yeah, stuff yeah. for my mum and yeah, stuff, yeah. so she can go back home. Yeah, yeah. But people who are not from our cultures yeah. look at that like, what the hell are you doing? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, it's no, like hundred percent. You just don't it's, understand. You don't understand what, it. If you don't mind me asking, what what makes you say you want things in life that you all do? Yeah, you all want to be someone. You want to be something. You're great achieving. But what pushes you? To want to be successful. My mum. So your she mom. can go back to Nigeria. Yeah. So the same way you how you got your mum a house in Thailand, same thing I want to do for my mum yeah. in Nigeria. And I've always said that because she gave, like, not going to lie, I, this is another thing where you said you started to think about yourself. Mm. Me personally, I don't think my achievements in life are my achievements. Okay. They were my mum's achievements. She helped you, well, no, she helped you get there. You know what I mean? Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, they were yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. need to go to university because I didn't go to university. You yeah, need to do yeah. this because yeah, yeah. I didn't do this. That's They're not my paths. Yeah, going no. back to that, yeah? Yeah. But so We've lived the same life, you know? Yeah. I swear, because like, even my last year in uni, I hated it, yeah? I, I hate like, it. The only reason I'm here is for my mum. My grandparents, yeah. like that side of my family, they were so strict on Trying education. Trying to make your family you know proud. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, literally that. With me, like, I was in college, yeah. I, I got kicked out of college in the last year. Like that's why I never went uni or whatever. But like, I was working, yeah. I was working in McDonald's for eleven o'clock at night to seven in the morning. I'd go to college at twelve. I finish at five, yeah. So I did mechanics on it. I did that IT. I just did whatever my mates were doing. And obviously, I went to like the crappiest college because I, I couldn't get in anywhere. So my my college was full of like thugs, like kids who who got no, who don't care about the future. So I think like 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 when you go to like seclusion or like you know like Prue. Pre schools mm-hmm. because that's because of school because I was naughty. So everyone in my college was naughty, da, 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 but I still went to college. I was getting up at 11 at night, 7 in the morning. In my head, I feel like, why am I doing this? I'm, I'm, I'm 16, 17 years old. I'm getting up at 11 o'clock at night to work till 7 in the morning, go see for a few hours, go to college, have a little nap, go to work. And in my head, you know why? My mum. In my head, my mum, I see what you, when you see what your mum goes through in life, yeah, it makes you, anything you do in life, you feel like this is nothing. My mum had to say like, your mom, my mum had to walk bare feet. My mum had to travel different cities just to make a bit of money. She had to do this, she had to do that. And when you see your mum do so much in life, yeah, and say, okay, I'm getting up at 11 o'clock and I'm getting a bus. My mum never had an opportunity to get in a bus. She had to walk to go to work or whatever. Mm. But in your head, you think, that's why you do it because of your mum. Yeah. Do you know what I'm Literally. saying? Facts. Literally, and other people don't see this, especially no. girls. Yeah, yeah. They don't see that. They're like, right, your mum is boy. You're not, you're not a mum is boy. You're not close to your mum. as well, bad. English people, the, the, the proper English titles, people, yeah. 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 And they've got like, they have weird, like, family, do you know what I mean? It's, a, yeah. they, they, it's very different because they've been given everything, you know what I mean? Literally. Whereas, like, we've come from different circumstances, you know what I mean? And so. you, we had to graft, like, mm. I've been grafting from a younger age. I had no even choice like, but to graft. little things, no yeah, like, yeah. No the, the, the dishes and cleaning, yeah, that, like, set man never had to do when they were Bro. kids, you know what I mean? I'd have got beaten, Bro. you know what I mean? I wouldn't like, allow that until the dishes <laughs> were done. Or, like, like, you said, boom, mum can't go out, do the dishes. 
Oh, please, man, can I do it later? Do dishes. So I'm dumb. I had to do it. When yeah. you hear your mum coming home, you want to do the slippers. <laughs> yeah. Slippers or coal hangers. Anything you could get a hand on. I saw when my mum first, she got, she got mum suffers from MS, isn't it? Mm. And when she first got ill, she had a walking stick. And I, I thought, I was thinking, obviously, when, when that first happened back then, she was still mobile, you know what I mean? And, that, and then she just had, like, shaky hands. And I thought, right, like, I was a bit older as well by this point, you know what I mean? I thought, oh, I'm calm now. Nah, walking stick would be out, bam, straight on the back of the edge. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. anything she could get her hand on, she could, she could discipline me. She, she'd be on it. You but know I mean? you know what? Yeah, it made you the person you are today. The mom, oh, the facts, things your mom yeah. used to do. If your mom never used to make you do the dishes, your mom didn't make you to clean the house, or your mom didn't make you tidy your own room up or whatever, you won't do that now. Also, I don't think there's anything wrong. You, you know, people go like you shouldn't hit your kid. Yeah. Like I don't feel like you should, obviously you shouldn't batter your kid. You know what I mean? But like yeah. the, the, it's done mean no harm. I mean some discipline, and it made me respect. It's respect different though, isn't it? So it's different. Stuff. Because it really hasn't done me no nowadays, harm, bro, in it. You know what I mean? Yeah, but then at the same time, I've seen it where that's it's done other people harm. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. But yeah. they're they taking it too far. You know what I mean? Like, me. Is it saying it's that my mum should understand if I would or get upset when she would, she would apologise or say yeah, listen yeah, to that yeah. like any day like da, 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 like if I, I I okay I wag school. She'd hit me with a belt or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But in my head, I felt like I used to cry when I should apologize and she'd like, I'm so sorry. But she's like, wax good. But at the end of the day, it's a lesson to teach her not to do it again. Facts. Sort of thing. That's but why like, I got lucky, to be fair. If you're, you're battering your kid, you're battering your kid. Mum being black, yeah. dad being white. Mm. My mum was on it, yeah. And she, she'd have me for anything. But my dad, that was big, yeah, big, burly guy. But like, he was soft. So like, mum sometimes would be like, my, my dad would come home from work and she'd be like, he's been a little bastard. Do you know what I mean? Take him upstairs yeah. and I'll belt him. And my dad would, dad would take me upstairs and he'd be like, right, pretend to cry. And he'd whack the bed. I mean, he'd take his belt off and he'd whip the bed and then I'd go, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> upstairs, you know what I mean? It'd be one of them. So, like, I, 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 had, I had a nice, I had a yeah, nice balance, yeah, you know what I mean, yeah. to be fair. But it was still, you know what I mean? I learned, I learned my lessons. Yeah. I learned my lessons. Nah, it just makes you who you are, to be fair. That's just it. That hustle and mentality. I always say people with culture. Are strong, yeah. I'm not saying, obviously, like, people who are born in England don't have culture or whatever, but like, I feel like when you're born from a different background or born in a different What's type of difference? family, you, you you think different in life. You you, you don't. To like like when I go out with all my boys, yeah, who when who I went to school with and stuff like that, yeah, and and, and like the parents and the way they speak to the mums and the dads. Oh, isn't it? Fam, oh, I'm thinking, yo, yeah, it, man. My, my, my like, mum, where's my tea? Mum, you're not ironing my clothes. Yeah. Gives me anxiety. I'm thinking, right. If I spoke to my mum yeah, like that, mum would be six foot uh, under the deep like, grave. But that's why people don't, innit? I've like, never, we've never once spoken back. Like you know what I mean. But that's the thing. You couldn't. Nah. But then literally that like me going to uni, and then. You start thinking when you start becoming independent, mm. and like this is why your mindset's changed now. Yeah, and mind's yeah. changed. I thought, you know what? Yeah, fam, my mum can't do nothing no more. Yeah, true, I yeah. can live the lifestyle I want to, spend all the money I want to yeah, spend. Yeah, facts. Want to bring all the girl I want to bring back to the gap. Now, do you get what I'm no, saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. you're like, you're doing a mazza, and then you start thinking about it. Then drink, drugs, gal, everything comes into play, and I deeped it. I was like, right, none of this is making me happy. No. Yeah. Like, it really ain't making me it's happy. Facade, like, do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And then me putting everything on IG, I'm in this place. So I think the last straw for me was like, um, I was like, yeah, I'm doing too much on IG. And it was Christmas time. And I went to this apartment. And it was just gal. Oh. And I put it on my story. But then the gal I was speaking to messaged me. I was like, right, oh. it's a bit mad now. Then I thought, right, why did I actually put it on my story? Yeah, what for? What were you flexing for? Why am I here? Yeah, you're not know Like, yeah, yeah. what am I doing now? It, like, just, it comes with age. It comes with age. Yeah. I'm telling you, as soon as you get older, all the little things you used to do when you used to buzz over, like Fox. girls, yeah. or like. It was Microsoft. Celebrities or whatever. You've got to think, like, whatever. They're just normal people, yeah. these celebrities or whatever. I swear, like, when we meet, obviously, I, I, was, I was going out, for, like, say, three, four times a week. I was on yeah. it, you know what I mean? Like, that's how people kind of look, you're a party boy, you know what I yeah. mean? Whatever. And then me and him moved in together, and it was the beginning of lockdown, and something in my head just we realized switched. Both of us yeah, did. both of us had like yeah. a realization. You know what I mean? I was just like, "Yo, what have I been doing? Like, I go out. You know what I mean? It was fun. You know, it, it was fun. Don't it was get fun. me wrong. We made memories. No, but, yeah. st- I've got legends. What, what, what are you celebrating? Yeah, 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 yeah. What are you celebrating? That's what it was. Yeah, exactly. That when you talk about going into work, yeah, and people are like they go out for a birthday oh. once every three months. Oh, they achieve something. Do you know what I mean? And then we're there going out three times a week, and I'm like. All I'm doing is I'm bad my mental health. My I'm bad on money. I'm, I, my, gym, my gym went to death. You know what I, I mean? My like, gym, all our gyms went to bro. death. You know what I mean? But I feel like, yeah, like I used to use our gym as a sport. Yeah. To see how many guys I could whack yeah, from Yo, bro, you were elite in there. I was so Honestly, <laughs> I, I, I used to spin my head. I, I've never been one of them yet for like, Going and just chatting to a bird in the gym or whatever, you know bro. what I mean? My man, active. Next thing he's like, he's like Josh, yeah? He's PTing the next one. Like, Hench- one babe, lower. <laughs> Hench me was a problem. Yeah, no. Nah, yeah, bro. that was a problem. In it. To where... Do you know what I, was, that, that whole crew in there, because we were so comfy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was one you of could them, move mad. Yeah, and nah, it
I had a chip on my shoulder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, rah, no one can push me about if I'm hench. Yeah, yeah. And if I'm hench, I can get beards. Yeah. Then if I can get beards, mum would be thinking I'm even more Sick. of this shit. That's Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. That was me. That's yeah. why I went to the gym. Same. If I showed you a picture when I was 17, yeah, bro, I was anorexic, bro. I was skinny. Same. But in my head, yeah, bro, like, Everyone got the girls in school. I never got the girls. I thought, why, why don't I say, because I'm skinny, but all the skinny kids got girls as well. I think because I'm ugly or whatever. I didn't, obviously, yeah, it's an ego or whatever. Like, yeah. you start to think about it. As soon as I got older, yeah, started Googling, like, what, honestly, it sounds really sad, yeah, but like when I was like, I remember I was like 16 or so, just leaving school or like, whatever. I Googled, like, what are girls attracted to? How'd you mm. get girls? So I was watching all these mad videos, like, how to, like, pull no, birds. No, no, and, look at him. <laughs> and, like, it was just like, girls, naturally, scientifically, like, attracted to guys who are muscular. Mm. So I'm thinking, okay, start smacking the gym out. Guys who are like girls who are confident. I, I was shy kid. I wasn't shy, but I was like the class clown. So in my head, I felt like I was making everybody laugh, but they weren't laughing at me. They was, they weren't laughing with me, they were laughing at me. Yeah, mm. yeah, you know, it's that yeah, sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. So in my head, I just started to like hit the gym, going out, being more confident. And I got a bit bigger. I went to the clubs and I like, said, when you go to speak to girls, you know, you gotta be confident, you gotta have the chat, you gotta make them laugh. So I, I, I naturally, I knew I was a funny guy anyway, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So if I wanted to meet that to my advantage, you know, I remember. Started hitting the gym, you know, looked at myself in the picture, and I'm, yeah, I'm looking all right, yeah, you know, brought on like a small top, made myself look hanger, <laughs> or I was a medium, <laughs> you know, them ones. So going out into the girls, I thought, I'm going to try these things and see if they work. Boom, seeing this girl, I thought, you know, I'm going to be confident, I'm going to go for it, do you know what I'm saying? Yes, that's where you're from, babes, da, da, da. She was like, oh, hi, you're all right. I'm thinking, in my head, yo, this girl's talking to me. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, my God. Yeah? So, that. bam, boom, bam. Got a number there. Next minute, I was in three years relationship with the first girl I spoke to. <laughs> what? Three years, bro. Jim changed bro, his life. Bro, bro, let's check this story, yeah? This girl, bro. <laughs> that's mad. Ten years older than me, fam. What? What? Swear. Bro, I was Swear. 17, yo, turning boys. 18. Yeah, and yeah. she was... Just around that corner. She like, was 28. Down. Yeah, she was 28, bro, when... But in my head, I just felt like, yo, I'm just, I've got this girl on the ropes. I'm going to start chatting pure shit. She was like, how old are you? I'm like, old enough. And she was like, she was like I look like, I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm old enough to be your mum. I said, how old are you? She went, I'm like, it's a bit rude, isn't it? I said, I'm going to get, I said, 21. She went, nah, I went, 22. She went, nah, I went, 25. She went, nah. She went, I'm 27, now, 28. She went, how old are you then? I said, I'm 22, isn't it? I was 17, bro. <laughs> 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 so just, just chatting away. Duh, 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 duh. Next thing you know, bam. You know, went on a few things, did that, those little bits and bobs. Next thing you know, we started seeing each other more and more. Got into a relationship, bro, yeah? yeah. Like, yo, I'm like, this, I've built my confidence. The first thing I do is get into a relationship. But I've never had a girlfriend in my life. She, I, I lost my virginity to her. <laughs> she was like, she's the first guy I ever properly kissed. Do you yeah, know what I'm saying? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. growing up, I didn't have no confidence. Yeah, Could have said, growing up from different background or coming to the school, no one to be your friend, sort of thing. So we kind of grew into it. But, mate, the worst part was, let me tell you this, yeah? My 18th birthday was coming up. She's thinking I'm turning 23. I've been seeing this girl for like three, four months, yeah? Mad. So I'm thinking, right, well, well, you know what? I'm thinking on top of my head and I'm good at like chatting shit sort of thing. But like, I'm, I'm not a liar or anything, but I'm good at like, you know, making yeah, yeah, yeah. things like come on to, you know, on my side, side of the story sound believable. Yeah. Boom, so rings her like a week, like a week before my birthday. Got something to tell you. What is it? You've cheated on me. Nah, 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 something like that. I said, babes, I love you. You know that, innit? Like, you're my, you're my everything. You know when you're younger, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're a sweet guy, <laughs> talk. <coughs> She's like, what, are you breaking up with me? I'm like, nah, 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 nah. It's nothing like that. I said, listen, you know what I told you? I was turning 23. <laughs> turning, I'm, I'm turning 20, and I'm, I'm turning 18. The phone goes silent for about five minutes. I'm like, hello? Are you still there? Hello? She's just she said she's been a nonce for the past yeah. year. Yeah. <laughs> she, she was like, Zach, I can't wrap my head on. You're telling me I've been sleeping with a 17-year-old and I'm a 28-year-old woman. Man. I, thought you was, I thought you was 22. And Zach, I could go to jail for this. Game, I said, I said nah, was... nah. It's, it's legal when you're 16. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's true. So I was like, so, like, so why did you lie to me, Zach? I said, I'll be honest with you, babe. Like, I've never had a girlfriend in my life. You're my first girl. You're the first girl I've seen. And I fell for your heart. I said, when I saw you, yeah, I saw this absolute angel, you know what I'm saying, doing talk to talk. I said, when I seen you, yeah, if I approach you now, put yourself in my shoes now, put yourself in my scenario. If I went over to you, yeah, did a chit chat and told you you're 17, would you speak to me? She went, probably not. I said, exactly. <laughs> so at the time, I did what I did and I did what I had to do <laughs> to get what you, and I did what I had to do. Can and that's how I got you. Could... <laughs> and she was like, oh, fair enough. So I think, she didn't speak to me for days and she went, I need some time to think about it. A week goes by, she rings me, like, like this is the day before my birthday. Zach, I've had a thought about it, like, you know, you're 18 now, you are illegal, and, and you shouldn't lie to me, Zach, you don't ever lie to me again. I said, babe, like, I did what I had to do to get you, because like I said, if I told you I was 17, you wouldn't have spoken to me, so 
And then, you know, we, f- we fell for each other and like, you know, she's accepted it. And then life got on. And obviously I broke up with her. I broke, I broke up with her when I was 20. She wanted to get married, have kids, and they're there. But it's right, she was turning 30. Do you know what I'm saying? Man is turning 20. Yeah, that's, and, and that's right. Obviously, I ended up finishing her. And that, that was that. That's why I say about relationships, like you, you, both of you have got to be in the right See, headspace because one, my like I said, my old one, like one person wants to pull that uh, direction. Uh, straight down, like, someone wants to pull that direction, someone wants to pull that direction, and saying. like someone's got to. But then one give was, up. one was speaking. See, like me and my ex now. I'm me. I've done everything. Yeah, bro, there's yeah. nothing that I need to do now. Do you get what I'm saying? You say that, but bro. Nah, bro. But I've lived it. See, I feel like that. Yeah, I'm like. It, it, in terms of partying and doing things, I've lived it, and I've lived it in different countries too. So yeah, true. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, true. So true. there's nothing for me now to come and tell me, rah. Nah, I get that. What you need to do? Nah, I get I've, that. I've done it. Mm. I get that, and you're yeah, and you're it is as well. Like the past year, because I, 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 like I had that mindset, and I was like, rah. I was holding off. Like I've had some. I ain't even gonna lie. I've had some peng beautiful birds you know what i mean over like the past couple of years but like i haven't been ready in my head so i've beat or whatever and then i cut it off there i'm one of them like once i've done it i, I cut straight away not yeah. not in a nasty way you know what i mean but just like just so we know what it is you know what i mean like yeah. won't, won't go there again it is what it is you know what i mean and then i look back now and i think why was i so afraid you know what i mean to like you let some nice ones yeah, i've let some nice ones yeah. go you know it's now and i'll pop up with like, a little message you know what i mean and i'm getting a like i'm thinking it's not oh the same, yeah man. no yeah yeah, yeah i left and they were on toast back then you know what i mean it's like because i let some sweet ones go and you deep it because you, you don't deep really, it, bro. you don't realize that the sweet ones after nah the time. you know what i mean you think yo well, can i get a ling one like yeah. that again you know is it is it coming it will come bro it will come mm-hmm. all i can really say it will come in it what i think there is i don't I, me personally i don't feel like the it's like we're worrying about English girls. They are good looking English girls, don't get me wrong, but like, I just, there's so much more out there in the world and I do quite, I like, what are you talking mean, about like, you? Go, to, go to America, just girls from like different girls countries. Different countries you know what I mean? my, my girl's English, yeah, and she's a baddie. <laughs> <laughs> she's <laughs> fair. You know what I mean, isn't it? Like, like across the world, like, Australia, even Thailand, like, Philip, he's not, you know, he's not massively yeah. like, Filipinos are the best. do you know what I mean? They're gorgeous, no, no, isn't no, it? You know what I mean? And I, I like that, like, <laughs> naturally good looking boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's about it, yeah. Well, what's what's the topic then? What we're talking about? No, we were just saying then, like um, relationships and like pulling in in the right direction. Then he was saying like how being open and ready and like how we've let yeah. sweet ones go in the past mm. because, because I, of, I'm yeah, not wanting yeah, to yeah. stop partying. Yeah, yeah. Being honest, like, now that's all it is. You know what I mean? Like in my head, I'm like, yo, I'd, I want to go out with the boys on Saturday and Friday, and I know I can beat another chick anyway at the weekend. Yeah. You know what I mean? So why am I gonna put myself in this situation where my night out's gonna be less fun? I'm gonna get stressed. I'm gonna get ag. And then you think about it, and it's like, yo, I've not even enjoyed these nights out for the past year. Like, I'm getting absolutely smashed out of my head. Just smash birds. Just, yeah, just to go out and just, I'm, I have to get smashed to enjoy it because, you know what I mean? We've, been, we've done it for that long, mm. you know what I mean? And I've got to be in a set mindset, you know what I mean? To, to, to get there and through it. And then it's like, yo, it's pointless. Like, I was like, yeah, could have could have could have done this a year ago. I mean, that's why it's been nice as well because yeah. in the past like, year, I've been in the relationship. people around me, yeah, like, Are you in he's, he's in a relationship. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Timmy's in a relationship that, now. In my head, you know I mean, so. Everyone I'm surrounded with, I'm like, I'm the, I'm the last man standing, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean? I, like, I never really wanted to get a girl, you know, like, in my head, I'm not saying, like, it was lockdown what got me a girl or anything like that. Definitely but, like, lockdown that got you a girl. Like, <laughs> I was single for two years, bro, like, those two years are the best two years of my life. But you know what like, you were saying, like, when you find a good girl, like, yo, this day and age, yeah, I'm telling it's you now, yeah? Like, oh, yo, hard. you ain't gonna find a good girl in Club Live. You ain't gonna find a good girl in China, White, or in these I ways. I preach this. Because all these oh. years, I've been active. Do you know so, what it is, girls? I would say, if, if, if town girls, like city girls, like, you start thinking that that's, that's how all girls are. Yeah, and yeah. yo, like it was mad, I was like, in my head I'm like, yeah, all girls go out, they get on it, you know what I mean? They go get, they get beat by a set man at the weekend and you, you mind, you, you changes oh, your perception. That shit, but, pl- that shit plays with me, you know? You know what I mean? But then you go, I promise you, go 15, 20 minutes out of town, go to Didsbury, wherever, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. girls you had at work, a nice nine to five job, you know what I mean? They have a glass of wine before they go to bed. Normal girls, they're still out there, I promise you. Yeah, so it's what we're surrounded by. I have this thing where if I know big guys whack you in it, there's no yeah, way. Yeah, I'm getting with you. Yeah, yeah nah. I ain't I'm walking not... down the street, yeah, like, yo, I whack it. Oh, yeah, no, no. Yeah. That couldn't be my bird, but I'm not, I'll whack it. Still. No, I whack it. Yeah. But I'll yeah, come wife it. Oh, no, yeah, never, yeah, never, yeah, never, yeah, never, yeah, never, never. And I said, this is an issue because people may know me, but you can't come and. There's not even. You can't, can't tell me the things that I, I've slayed. Yeah, no, yeah. Do you, you get what I'm saying? Only close one never come and I'll be like, you are slayed too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you whack someone and I've whacked someone, I was like, rah. Shortly after, like, I found out the man's that I bagged it, I was like, ah. And it, you raise that. Like, we, like, me, me and him were like, like we Honestly, yeah, we had, like, I, 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 I call it gang pussy. So like, when we were going to live, like, all the time, yeah, like, I swear, like, it's the same faces, it's the same you know faces. what I mean? So, like, I'd go out, I'd whack a bird one weekend, he'd go out the next weekend, he'd get her. And you know what it was? Because we, we were, like, a, we were, like, the, not it faces, you know what I mean? But, like, 
our group was quite cool, you know what I mean? We had a table every week, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, Phil's yeah. found us attractive, they wanted to like- Spend the money we ain't got. You know what I mean? So <laughs> they weren't, yeah, they weren't <laughs> asked who they were with, as long as they were with one of us, you know what I mean? So yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I do it one week and then I didn't care, you know what I mean? He'd do it the next week, you know what I mean? Week after we'd have both of them, we'd have another two, you know what I mean? And it just like, it flowed like that, yeah. it changed. That was then, this is not me now, I'm a changed man now. Yeah, nah, it, 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 big, man. I've got a girl now, got and I love her. <laughs> If you're watching, <laughs> <laughs> they got Bella. What are we on? Um, 115. 115. I told you it was quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, man. Right, we'll do another session because I've got a lot of things that you know I, I, I think would be interesting for you to talk about. What people would love to listen man. to. Nah, nah, we'll it's mad it. when you start talking as well. Like it, it just flows in it. It flows. Yeah, 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 I've got, yeah. I've got stories and things I want to tell you. Like you, you know what? Like yo. Things, things people might even buy, you know what I'm saying? But like, I'm gonna leave that for next time. <laughs> All right, cool, we'll leave it as that, man. A cliffhanger, man. In End the off tree. Yeah, so the story of Zach, yeah, tune in. Yeah, yeah, Jeez, come on, you know. Make sure you follow the this. page, yeah? Wait, is your last name, yeah? Nah, nah, nah. Okay. Honestly, oh, I mean, I nah, nah, nah. We'll, get, we'll, get a we'll get a parcel sent to the flat and they still come through, Zach, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, my, my real name is Zachariah Wafanajang Shwakel. I'm only saying that once, yeah. Name, that I remember that. Saucy. But like, nah, Zach, Zach, yeah, it was like, because Every video I used to do, I'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Zach, yeah, yeah, yeah. So everyone's like, used to be like, Mr. Yeah. So I was like, change to Zach, yeah. But now everyone knows me as Zach, yeah. You Zach, yeah. Okay, yeah. that was a thing for a good like six months. And then they got annoying in it. Everyone, everyone going, yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, they, 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 they come over and see it and just go, yeah, yeah. And they'd be like, oh, no, no one's even saying hello anymore. It's just, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is that you? You're like, yeah, man. Like, that, you're on Instagram stories and you're saying the same thing over again. Well, it was like, just me who's doing it. Everyone was doing it. Because I started it. Trend, the whole yeah, group was did, doing it. Did, did, yeah, because yeah, I remember though. Timmy used to say, I've got a video with Timmy going, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to bring you back a little bit, yeah, because yeah, I thought you're thinking about like, that's my little trendsetter yeah, team. Yeah, yeah, so what so yeah. happened when Bane Boy came up with, with Yay yeah, then? Yeah. Like, did you have yeah, a little... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, Copied me. The Big Club Live song that one as well. All ties in, all ties in. But yeah, guys, nice. listen, we'll wrap it up here. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you follow us because yes, the next time we come Instagrams back, yeah, stuff. Mike, Zach, yeah, Lewis Mass. Louis Mass. <laughs> um, <laughs> make sure you tune into the show because next time when we come back, yeah, the, the, the topics and the things we've been talking yeah, yeah. about. Yeah, it's yeah. Be yeah. Very interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know that. You know Zach, that. Yeah. Love. Uh, Jeez. So yeah, uh, follow the Front Left Podcast on Instagram, uh, Front Left Podcast on the YouTube. Yeah, and on the Twitter front left pod. Thank you guys for coming through. Nice uh, thank you for having us. Really appreciate it. No worries. Nah, yeah, man. This. Next Still time, yeah, we want some snacks. We want some. Safe. We want a minute. We'll sort the ride. Yeah, 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 we'll sort the ride out next time. I'll come dripped as well as well. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Let me let me prepare for this. You know what I'm saying? Man's about to go dripped, looking like a scruff. Don't worry, man. Peace. Over and out. Peace. Hello, man.